Hey, what's up guys? So uh, in this video today, we're gonna be making a fully 3D printed differential uh, gearbox. Uh, I first uh, learned about these uh, through FRC where I heard about like a differential swerve and I wasn't exactly sure what that meant. So I decided I'd just make my own like kind of model differential gearbox so I could understand what it meant. Uh, but as usual, you can download all of these files in the description, which I designed myself. And let's just get right into this video. All right, so here we have our different parts that we're gonna to use to make the differential gearbox. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the different parts. So we have the four bevel gears that are gonna go in like the center, which are gonna be housed by this, which are like the core of the differential gearbox. We have this bevel and this bevel over here, and these two are what's gonna be powering the assembly like that. And then this is which is going to be housing uh, the two bevel gears inside of this. And finally, our two uh, ends that have these hex at the end, which just allows it to kind of be, you know, uh, powered by this originally, like that. So uh, let's get to building. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece, as you can see, kind of warped at the end during the print, and. This has to be glued onto this, so that as it spins, so does this. So, let's just take that, switch like that, and stick that through, and get to gluing. So, I'm just gonna be using a hot glue gun. Super glue will probably work, as will most glues, but I'm just gonna take a good amount, and kind of glue it all around. There we go. I'm pushing it to make sure that it's getting the adequate, adequate grip that it needs. I'm trying to clear up the edges kind of like that. And there we go, yeah. Pretty happy with that. No longer, or now, now it's stuck, so as this turns, so will that. And we can kind of take that off. And there we go straight on. All right, so now once you have this right here, you're going to take uh, you're going to take your bevel gear that's attached to it and you're going to push it through down here. I had to I had to cut this little chunk out so that I could put it through, but I'll updated this in the CAD model so when you print it that you won't have to cut it out like that. So, I'm going to push it through like that. And I'm going to take this one which I just uh, glued, and I'm gonna stick it through just like that. So take one of our ends, push it through, and there we go. So it kind of sags, but that's not a big problem right now. And then all we have to do is take one of our hex uh, bevel gears, place it on, kind of rotate your thing so that you can uh, Settle it like that. You're gonna push that all the way through, so that way this thing's touching, so that way the bell gear is on the bottom of that. Then take your your holder in place, and you're gonna face one towards the bevel. Oops, like that. Loop it in. There we go. Push it through. And you're gonna do the same thing with this one. Get that through and find the end. Okay. Now, once you've done that, all you have to do is glue in the support axle so that it won't move. So since you can see it's kind of, the axle's a little bit bigger than the hole. You can just kind of get in the edges like that. Make sure that doesn't move. And that should be enough to Hold it up, put it up like that. And then when it's up here, you can do the same thing. Such as that. All right, I'm gonna stick it on the side just to, to let it dry for a second. Oops. All right. Now that we're right there, we're gonna take our final hex, uh, our hex uh, bevel, and we're gonna stick it straight through. Pull it back. 
There we go. So it's done like this. I'm going to take our axle and we're going to push it through until it meets. All right, I'll take that and push. Oops. Okay, yeah, okay, there we go. Lift it up and then push it through so it's going to join on all sides. All right, so this is the complete bevel box. Okay, as you can see, this is the full differential gearbox. So to show you a little close up, here's what it looks like. So as you can see, we got our four bevel intersection right here, and we got our input bevel to our output, which will spin the entire box. Then we got one output over here and one output over here, which are connected into the intersection. And I put some lines on it so you can kind of tell speeds. So uh, to show you how it works is, if I first just spin the input, as you can see, both outputs are going to spin at the same pace, in the same direction as well. But if I hold one output and I spin the input, then the other is going to spin at a much faster pace than before. And I can do the same with this side. And yeah, and then also, if I was to spin one side and hold the output, then this would be spinning in the opposite direction. Or if I spin the output and hold the input, and if I, I can do the same over here. It spins in the opposite direction of the belt gears. And that's basically what a differential gearbox looks like.